Who's you? Kinema Gaming Air and Vision Cast. And welcome to the sunny beaches of Mount Pleasant for today's episode of My Math. Today's episode, featuring Chapter 12, Lesson 2, Hands on Sides and Angles of Triangles. The essential question for all of chapter 12, how does geometry help me solve problems in everyday life? So we'll begin today and you will need a couple tools. Uh, a ruler and a protractor would be great. Um, your paper does come with a mini ruler that you could utilize, but it does not come with a protractor. Uh, you could also use a regular ruler. Um, we are on the lesson two packet, which begins on page 909. So yeah, we're more than 900 pages into math this school year. Hopefully you are enjoying our educational journey. Um, the expectations are as we go through these screens uh, that you pause the video anytime you need to and then unpause it when you're ready, but also that you are writing in the answers into your lesson packet. Uh, this is the best way for you to engage with the material. And frankly, it's more entertaining than just listening to Mr. Ireland. So we are on 909 and we're at the measure it. And we have, your paper will show three pair underneath the definition that a triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. Remember, polygons are closed figures, and you see there's no openings here. It's made up of line segments. You see those. Uh, so first thing it says, measure the sides of each pair of triangles below to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Um, you would call that a millimeter, but in, if it's at 24 millimeters, say 2.4 centimeters, um, if that's the number. Record the measures. Um, so you're going to want to do a lot of pausing and unpausing as we go. So go ahead, pause the video, and do those now. You may pause now. Welcome back. Let's see if your numbers match. Right. In pair A, it's a, they are both equal lateral triangles, which means all three sides are congruent. These were three centimeters. These were two. So it's 50% bigger. Looking at now, let's look at pair B. Uh, go ahead uh, to measure those out. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. See, we have 2, 2, and 3.5, 2, 2, and 2.8. When it has two sides congruent, we call that isosceles. Um, you can see this little box here tells us that it's a 90 degree angle. So this is a right triangle. All right, let's go ahead and do pair C, same thing. Go ahead and measure. Let me pause the video now. Welcome back. You see you had 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 on this obtuse angle. So it's an obtuse triangle. And this right triangle is 2, 3, and 3.6. In this case, there are no congruent. So we call that a scalene triangle. So comparing the side lengths of each pair of triangles above, what did you notice? Um, you would have noticed pair A was equilateral, pair B isosceles, and pair C scalene, or no sides congruent. Anytime you want to write in one of these talk about it, you may, or you may, I'm just going to highlight a detail. Talk about it to me should be, you know, talking about it. And you're also welcome to talk about it with somebody at home if you're watching this video in the comforts of somewhere outside of my classroom. All right, so let's look at 910. We're gonna try it, you're gonna do the same thing, but now with a protractor. Remember that you wanna get the point right on the angle, and then you read, uh, if it's the smaller side, you're gonna use the numbers less than 90. Uh, if you're looking something that's obtuse, the number's greater than 90. Um, Go ahead, prepare to pause the video and take your measurements and come back and check how you did. Let me pause the video now. 
Welcome back. Let's see what we found for pair A. 60, 90, and 30. 50, 90, and 40. Um, notice some key details. If you add these together in a triangle, they will always add up to 180 degrees. If it is not 180 degrees, something went wrong. Uh, and because they're 90 degree angles, they are both known as right triangles. Let's look at pair B. Do the same thing with the measurements. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. We have 20, 120, 30, and 30, and 110, 40, and 30. When you see that there's one angle larger than 90 degrees, that is an obtuse triangle. All right, let's go ahead and go to pair C. Pause the video, and we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. We have 80, 60, and 40, 60, 60, and 60. Equal at, well, what angle you are. Um, equal at, well, we'll see more about that in a moment. These are acute triangles. None of the angles are larger, 90 degrees or larger. Anything larger than 89.99999 will be a right and then obtuse. So let's look at the talk about it. Think to yourself for a moment. Compare the angle measures of each pair of triangles above. What do you notice? Well, let's see if you notice that pair A have one right angle, so it's a right triangle. Pair B, one obtuse angle, so it's an obtuse triangle. And pair C, all acute angles, the acute triangle. Part three, explain how a triangle is a special type of polygon. Uh, it's special in that it's specifically three line segments that do not cross each other. If it was four, it would be a quadrilateral. So that's where it's specific. All right, we're going to do a few more practice. I'd like you to pa pause the video, do numbers four and five, and come back. Notice the direction. Say measure the size of each triangle to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Then describe the number of congruent sides. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. See that these are all two. This is three, three, and 4.2. Three congruent sides, two congruent sides. Equilateral and isosceles. Go ahead and do number six and seven. Let me pause the video now. Welcome back. Two, three, and four. One, two, and 2.2. 2. No congruent sides, no congruent sides. Those are scaling. Now we're going to pull out that protractor again. It says measure the angles of each triangle to the nearest degree. Drive the number of acute right or obtuse angles. Go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back. 120, 30, 25, and 35. One obtuse, two acute. Here, one right and two acute. We call this a right triangle and an obtuse triangle. Go ahead and number, try numbers 10 and 11. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. You see that we've got 40, 75, and 65, so three acute angles. This one has one obtuse and two acute. By definition, because they have to equal 180, uh, once you have an, an obtuse triangle, the other two have to be acute. Same as if you get a right triangle, the others have to be acute. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the homework here. This is on page 913. Uh, they gave you some examples so you can see how they label things. Triangles, three congruent sides, two congruent sides, one right angle, two acute angles. It's always good to use that homework helper to kind of see how they want to phrase things. And you can do that on numbers one and two, three and four. Uh, measure that, how many are congruent. That'll be a number, maybe right it's nine, put nine angles or nine sides. It won't be because there's only three. Um, and kind of keep going through the page. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at mirland at sidechipschool.net or um, if you're in class, raise your hand. But um, 
always feel free to look things up. Uh, if you have questions, I do also have office hours, but I answer your emails as quickly as I can. I hope everyone has a minute. Gijigat, minwa, avapi.